various solutions of second order linear differential equations. We're going to use power series to construct fundamental sets of solutions of second order linear differential equation. But we need some basics now. We're going to describe methods of solving second order linear differential equations with constant coefficients. This is what we did before. Now we're going to say that, hey, now suppose you have functions as coefficients. For example, consider homogeneous equations, a2x, the second derivative of y, plus a1x times y prime plus a sub 0x, y equal to zero. This is a second order differential equation. If you write it in standard form, given that a sub two is non-zero, you can write it in standard form. You have the second derivative of y plus px y prime plus qx y, and on the right hand side equal to zero. Well, we define ordinary and singular points. A point x equal to x sub zero is said to be an ordinary point of the differential equation if both coefficients px and qx are analytic at x sub zero. Otherwise, we call it a singular point. Remember the definition of analytic function. If the Taylor series of function f converges to f of x for all x in some open interval containing a, and we say that f is analytic at x equals to a. For example, all polynomial functions are well-behaved functions. They're analytic everywhere. Every rational function is analytic where its denominator is non-zero. And in general, if you have two functions like f and g that are both analytic at a, then their addition, multiplication, and division, given that the denominator is not zero, is also analytic. Consider these two differential equations. Both of them are written in standard form. As you can see, the coefficient of y is equal to 1. The coefficient of y prime is 3. The coefficient of y is equal to 2. All of these are constant functions. Constant functions are well behaved. They are analytic everywhere, negative infinity to positive infinity. So basically, you can say that, hey, these two differential equations, they have no singular points. Every point is basically an ordinary point. Consider another second order differential equation. First of all, it's written in standard form. There is nothing next to the second derivative of y. e to the x is a well-behaved function, sine x as well. Following the definition of ordinary point, since both of these functions, p of x and q of x, are both analytic everywhere, so basically you don't have any singular point. Both of them are well-behaved functions, so every point is ordinary. Consider the following differential equation. This is a second order differential equation written in standard form. So px is x and q of x is ln of x. The coefficient functions, as you can see, are linear function, which is basically a polynomial function and you have a logarithmic function. Remember the definition of analytic function. If the Taylor series of function f converges to f of x for all x in some open interval containing a, then we say that hey, we have analytic function. Polynomial functions, rational functions, and basically the summation, multiplication, and division of analytic functions are analytic. It's obvious that 
the linear function x is analytic everywhere. We don't have any issue with that. But for qx, ln of x, it is analytic just on positive real numbers. Remember the beh behavior of the ln function. It's not defined by negative values. Since ln of x is discontinuous at x equal to 0, it cannot be represented by a power series in x. So we conclude that x equal to 0 is a singular point for this differential equation. And again, remember the definition of ordinary and singular points. You say that a point is ordinary point if both px and qx are analytic at that point. So we found a point like 0 that make this differential equation to have a singular point. At every other point, on the right-hand side, 0 to positive infinity, every point is ordinary point. But at x equal to 0, you have a singular point. When you're solving a differential equation, basically working with different types of points. Mainly, we're interested in the points that we divide the differential equation by that function to make it into a standard form. Later on, you're going to see examples. Take a look at this one. As I mentioned before, you have something to divide by because you have x times the second derivative of y. It's not written in standard form. To write this in standard form, if x is not equal to 0, then you are allowed to divide everything by x. You get the second derivative of y plus 1 over x y prime plus 1y equal to 0. px, which is 1 over x, fails to be analytic at x equal to 0. So x equal to 0 is a singular point. So again, remember the definition of analytic function. A function is analytic if it has a Taylor series that converges to that function at that value. And as you remember, this is the behavior of the function 1 over x. x equal to 0 is not an ordinary point. Why? Because function 1 over x is not analytic at x equal to 0. Basically, at x equal to 0, you have a vertical asset. The point x equal to 0 is an ordinary point of the equation x times the second derivative of y plus sine x y prime plus x squared y equal to 0. First, you need to write this in standard form. So you get the second derivative of y plus sine x over x y prime plus x squared divided by x y equal to 0 over x. P of x is sine x divided by x, which is 1 over x. And as you remember, the power series representation for sine is x minus x cubed divided by 3 factorial plus x to the fifth over 5 factorial plus the rest of them. So just substitute that over here. So you have 1 over x times sine x. Sine x is represented by a polynomial written this way using power series representation. If you distribute 1 over x into parentheses, you get this polynomial here. P of x is analytic at x equal to 0. And Q of x, which is just x, is going to be analytic everywhere. So you have your Px and Qx. Again, remember the definition of analytic function, as long as it has a power series representation, you have analytic function at that value. Any polynomial function, like this one here, and since you have x as q of x, it's going to be analytic, and since it satisfies the definition of ordinary point, you say that, hey, x equal to 0 
is an ordinary point of the differential equation. And finally, the point x equal to zero is not an ordinary point for this differential equation. Why is that? You have the second derivative of y plus x squared y prime plus square root of xy equal to zero. It's written in standard form. Px is x squared, which is a polynomial, so it's analytic everywhere. But q of x is square root of x. This one is not differentiable at x equal to 0. So it cannot be analytic at x equal to 0. 